In this tutorial, we're going to create a calculator. Let's go ahead and create a new web form in Visual C Sharp and use a code behind page. And let's call it calendardemo.aspx. Let's go to the design view, create a table, select the div tag and create a table with three columns and three rows. Let's go ahead and select all the columns in row one, right click, modify, and merge cells. We're going to put a label in column one, row one. We'll put a text box in column one and column three of the second row. And we'll put a drop down list box in column two, row two. In row three, second column, we want to go ahead and put our calculate button. Let's go ahead and change the properties of our controls by removing the text of the label and setting the IDs of all the controls. Label result, or result label, excuse me. We'll name the boxes, value box one and value box two. They contain the values we're going to calculate. This is going to contain our operators. Click on our button. This is our calculate button, so we'll give it a proper ID and proper text. Next, we'll add our items to our drop-down list box. We want four items. Oops, hang on, let me go back. We want to get a addition. Subtraction. Multiplication. And division. Next, we want to react to an event, so we'll double click on calculate. And in time consciousness, so that we can make sure we get these videos in less than five minutes, I'm going to cut and paste code, starting with our check to make sure that values exist in both text boxes. If they do, let's go ahead and extract the values of each text box. And put it in value one and value two. Then we'll use a switch statement. And the switch statement will go through and verify the selection in the operator's drop list box. You'll see that now. And based on that selection, it will execute the appropriate addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division of value one and value two. Then we need to take the result and put it in our label. Let's put that code in here. And there it takes the data and puts the result into the label, otherwise empties the label text if there was no values. Go ahead and run it. Push back to the server, get our result. 